Welcome to Enlightened TV, home of trending news, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrity, and metro news. Today's headline reads, 70-year-old woman leads hunter into battle, over 40 bandits killed. If this is the first time of you are watching our channel, I urge you to click on the red subscribe button below this video and also click on the bell icon to stay notified each time we publish news daily. Now the news in detail. No fewer than 40 bandits were killed in an operation carried out by local hunters led by a 70-year-old female spiritualist in Zuguruma, Mashigu, local government area of Niger State in Nigeria. The raid, which lasted for just 30 minutes, had been described by villagers and eyewitnesses as a mysterious encounter, which ought to have been capitalized on and used ever since. Despite several efforts in the past months, it seemed like the operations by combined effort of the military, police, and other security agencies against banditry in Niger State have been unsuccessful. A witness told journalists that the state government had had to go spiritual with the engagement of spiritualists and local hunters to fight the bandits who had besieged some local government areas in the state. This breakthrough in the fight against bandits came barely a week after the state government declared a statewide prayer in mocks and charges against men of the underworld who have made life unbearable for the people. Two days after the prayers, bandits struck in Kagara in Rafi local government area, killing a woman and her daughter and kidnapping scores. A commander of the bandit and three others who were said to have gone to town to buy recharge cards and other basic needs for the group were later arrested and handed over to the state police command. They are currently under investigations. The female spiritualist, before leading the operation, was said to have requested for some things, including a live dog whose blood was sprinkled on all the altars before embarking on the operation. Two virgin boys led the way into the bandit's den. She was said to have stripped herself in a tent while preparing the sacrifice. One of the villagers, Malam Al-Hazan, who narrated in Hausa how the operation went, said, On approaching the, local, the location of the bandit, the woman instructed that the hunters should shoot into the air to provoke the bandits so as to lure them out from their hideouts. This strategy, according, according to him, paid off as the bandits, on hearing the sound of the gunshots, began to shout towards the direction of the hunters but could not see anyone. The villager added, the bandit continued to shoot sporadically without aiming at any target until they ran out of bullets. That was when the hunters descended on them, killing 40. Finding shows that while the operation was ongoing, the leader of the bandits scrambled to hide on top of a tree. One of the bandits ran towards him, calling his attention to the invasion by the hunters. The woman ordered the hunters to immediately go after him, he was brought down with just a wave of hand. The source added, No single casualty was recorded on the side of the hunters who had volunteered to help the government eliminate all forms of banditry from the state within one month. All the weapons of the bandits, including machine guns, anti-aircraft guns, rocket launcher, among others, were recovered and handed over to the police. When contacted, the deputy police public relations officer, Otman Omar, said that 
he was making efforts to reach the division police officer, DPO, in charge of the community where the incident occurred. Omar said, I will get back to you as soon as I get the divisional police officer where the incident occurred. As at the time of filing this report, no feedback was received from the police. This is really an interesting occurrence in Nigeria. Terrorism and insecurity has gotten to the point where churches and mocks have got to pray hard as much as they can. And then people have resolved to go into uh, using some other diabolical means to see how they can secure themselves, their lives and their properties. You can imagine a 70-year-old woman leading an hunter to battle. It has come to this stage. I would urge you also at this point to click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon beside this, the red subscribe button, which is below this video. So you stay updated on our news. I would like you to comment. Please do well to comment on this video. Let us know your views. Does it mean that we, the whole Nigeria will have to pursue the woman in question and also work with her to see how to fight Boko Haram and other terrorist organizations attacking Nigeria at this time. What do you think we should do? I urge you at this point to send your comment. Thank you very much. God bless you.